Industry professionals weigh in on how the feud with hype has affected New Jeans' image in the advertising industry plus popular former judges' comments on New Jeans leaving a doer are gaining attention. New Jeans were, and are, still a blue chip in the advertising industry. With multiple commercials such as Indomie, luxury brands, Shinhan Financial, and more under their belt, many wondered about their image in the industry after their public feud with hype. Earlier this week, New Jeans officially announced their departure from Adua, marking the end of their relationship with the hype subsidiary. During a press conference held on November 28, the group addressed the decision, stating, The reason we are leaving Adua is very simple. Adua neither has the will nor the ability to protect New Jeans. An advertisement industry insider shared on a community site that New Jeans is surprisingly still as hot as ever. While many other celebrities saw a drop in commercial value after feuds with their companies or contractual problems, New Jeans has gone unaffected. New Jeans is a really special case indeed. I work in advertising, and it's not easy for someone to be as unaffected as them. Even if there's so many articles about them, they're still so trendy and they sell things well. As long as we include the keyword New Jeans, it blows up. Money doesn't lie. Said Insider. Comments agree that the way New Jeans continued with their promotions without letting the case affect their work made them rather impressionable. One netizen commented. I agree. Even amidst the controversy, they surprisingly carried out their promotions properly and spoke their mind clearly without whining. They look really mentally strong and actually gave off the impression of a confident MZ instead. Most adults would not be able to take the risks that come with following Minute He Jin on her way out, but their lack of fear in that made them seem even more youthful if that makes sense. Because they showed both sincerity and maturity, in addition with the things they've shown up to now, that they're good at their job, trendy, and even cute to boot, it created a synergy that makes even the general public who are not into idols want to support them. It's not sympathy these people feel for them, but pure admiration and support. This is really fascinating. Popular former judges' comments on New Jeans leaving a doer are gaining attention. Since the news broke, there has been widespread speculation and debate about whether it would be legally straightforward for the group to exit their contracts. Many have shared opinions on the complexities of such situations, sparking discussions online. Amid the ongoing conversation, a statement from Lee Hyun Gan, a former judge turned lawyer, has drawn significant attention. He has previously commented on other developments as well. Lee questioned the inherent imbalance of power in such cases. He remarked that while companies can dismiss employees without needing court approval, people often hesitate to apply the same logic when employees choose to leave. People are so strange. When companies lay off employees, do they get a court ruling before doing so? No one questions this at all. But when it's the other way around, people ask if the employee can just leave. It seems like we've completely internalized and accepted the hierarchical relationship between the powerful and the powerless. But the law doesn't work that way. It simply gets evaluated later in court. The only reason people on the weaker side don't act is because they're afraid of what might happen if they resist. Lee's remarks quickly went viral, gathering over 34,000 views and sparking heated debates among netizens. On October 30th, Cho Myan Sik, head lawyer at Gate Law Firm, shared his thoughts on social media regarding New Jeans' emergency press conference and their declaration to terminate their contract with Adua. Cho explained, New Jeans followed contractual procedures by demanding Adua correct its violations within a set grace period. They then notified Adua of the contract termination due to non-compliance, but chose not to pursue any legal action, including injunctions. He emphasized that a breach does not automatically lead to termination. A correction period must be provided and if the violations remain unaddressed within that time frame, legal grounds for termination are established. He added, New Jeans exercise their legal right to terminate. What New Jeans likely hopes for is that a doer will respond by filing its own termination notice and seeking damages. Cho downplayed concerns about potential financial claims, stating, even if a doer pursues astronomical damages, there's little cause for concern. It's doubtful that judges would award shockingly high amounts. Cho concluded, this is exactly what New Jeans is banking on. A doer is in a difficult position, essentially forced to file a lawsuit. Cases like this aren't won or lost solely on legal grounds. What are your thoughts on this?